welcome to Reamp Roundup, a weekly summary of energy news from the upper Midwest region. It's the week of December 8th, 2008, and I'm Melina Belkov. Attorneys and landowners have filed potentially final paperwork in the DM&E eminent domain case. The Sioux Falls-based railroad company would like to transport coal through South Dakota. Citizens worry it will disturb their land. An eminent domain ruling would allow DM&E to seize the land with monetary compensation. A judge will now decide whether the rail project is in public interest, according to the Gazette News Services. Iowa Governor Chuck Culver has called upon the federal government for wind power, transmission line, and biofuel support. He asked Congress to help remove red tape in order for projects to move forward, according to the Des Moines Register. Renew Wisconsin, Clean Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Farmers Union, and the Michael Field Agricultural Institute have teamed up for clean energy. The four groups developed the Homegrown Renewable Energy Campaign. It aims to develop sustainable, community-based renewable energy while incorporating forests and cropland, according to the Wisconsin Farmers Union. The campaign seeks policy initiatives that will reduce pollution and grow jobs. The U.S. Department of Energy has selected the University of Michigan for coal research, according to the United Press International. The school is one of six receiving a grant to find more clean and efficient use of coal. However, renewable energy and efficiency measures always prove to be the cleanest option. Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich is drafting a plan to deter transit hikes. He suggests freezing the pay for non-union transit agency employees if transit rates increase, according to the Chicago Sun-Times. The General Assembly would have to approve the measure first. The North Dakota Public Service Commission has approved Otter Tail Power's request for a rate increase. It will total $4.8 million, according to the Associated Press. The interim rate increase begins January 2nd. U.S. Senator from Minnesota Amy Klobuchar is on a Main Street Jobs tour through the state. She's speaking out about opportunities for job creation through renewable energy projects, according to KAAL-TV. She said, Minnesota brought the world everything from the pacemaker to the post-it note, and this new energy technology is really our next step. And that's it for this week. For more on these stories, go to reamp.org. From all of us at Reamp Roundup, thank you for being with us, and please join us next week.